under six minutes to play. Jason Tatum finishes the deal. He drives past Steph Curry. Tatum finishes with 26. Celtics win by 16. And afterwards, the players talked about staying poised as the Warriors made their third quarter run. We call the timeout. We regroup um, and lock back in. You know, I think that's when we're at our best. And uh, I think we did that several times a night. And I think that's a, uh, as a result, you know, we end up winning the game. For me, it was just be, be poised. Just stay calm. Um, you know, we've been here before. Um, they're a really good team. They're going to go on runs, but so are we. And, you know, we just have to bow down and go on our run. Not sure the old pitter patter can take the Celtics' third quarter action, but they responded, and that's what counts. Let's hope they put a full game together on Friday night, that next game, game four, and keep home court advantage. Outside the Garden, I'm Levin Reed for WBZ News. Inside the Garden, Celtics fans made their voices heard. The Warriors tried to downplay the impact of the crowd, but they still sounded a little put off about their welcome to Boston. It was not a factor. 